So now I'm on Vector Studio. So now let's select the Shape tool, left click, select the Ellipse tool, and now hold Shift key down and then create your circle to create a perfect circle. And now I'm going to remove the fill. So left click here and then click on this icon here to remove the fill. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to add the three point stroke, press three and then press enter. And now select the move tool and now control J to duplicate your circle. And now hold the control key and shift key down and then scale down your layer to scale it proportionally. And now I'm going to select both circles and then group them. Click on group and now control J to duplicate them. And now I want the small circle of the duplicated group layer, the duplicated circle here to touch the outside circle. So now I'm going to move to the right, hold shift key down and then move to the right. So here it is and I'm going to left click outside and now let's select the pen tool. Make sure the snap pen is checked and I'm going to left click here. So here are the features I checked. So I'm going to move my cursor here as you can see it snaps and then I'm going to move it here. So now as you can see it snaps, left click and then I will just keep moving my cursor to the right until it snaps again. So here it is now it snaps, left click. So now we have a line here. So now let's select the move tool, control J to duplicate this line. And now hold shift key down and then move the line here down until it snaps here. So now as you can see the line here has the same stroke width as the circles which is three points and I'm going to select everything. Select the shape builder tool, left click here, select shape builder. The action is plus to create a new shape from selected areas. Drag method is freehand, clean up. I'm going to change it to none. I check the use style from selected area. And now I'm just going to drag over the parts I want to select. So I'm going to select this one here and then drag. So this is my first shape. And now I'm going to start my selection from here. Like this and then drag. So this is my second shape. And now I'm going to change down here to the navigator tab. I'm going to increase the zoom by moving the cursor to the right. I'm going just to scroll up. Make sure the action is plus to add a new shape to the selected area. So I'm going to add this small here shape here. So I'm just going to left click and then drag. So here it is. Now it was added. And now I will just go down. And then I'm going to add this shape to the shape here. I'm going to merge them. So select here, drag it until here. So here it is. Now I'm going to bring back the navigator to 64. Press enter. So now I'm going to change the action to the minus here to delete selected areas from object. I'm going to left click on this one here. And now let's select the move tool. I'm going to left click outside. So now we have four layers. We just need two layers. So for example, this one here doesn't do anything. I'm going to select it and then delete it. And this one here doesn't do anything. I'm going to select it and then click on the second to delete it. So now we have only these two shapes here. So here it is. This is first one. This is the second one. So I'm going to select this one here, then one on the left. I'm going to add a gradient to it. So let's select the fill tool. The context is fill. I'm going to change the type here to linear. I'm going to left click here. I'm going to change it to black. Then I'm going to left click for this one here. Say so I'm going to change it. So I'm just going to keep it to white. And then I'm just going to move this gradient here to the right here. And then with this one, I'm going to move it here. So I think I'm going to lift here and now let's select the move tool and now I'm just going to copy the same gradient to this shape here. So make sure to select the one that has the gradient the shape that has the gradient control C to copy. And now I'm going to select this shape here that doesn't have a fill select it. Go to edit paste and then select paste style. So here it is pasted the same gradient and now let's select the fill tool. So I'm just going to click on reverse. So I want the dark part here on this side here. And then I'm just going to move, for example, this one here. I'm just going to adjust the gradient. So I think I'm going to lift here. Now let's select the move tool. And now I'm going to select everything. And now I'm just going to click on group to group the layers. And now here, for example, you can adjust the outline, increase it or decrease it. So for example, if I decrease it, select the navigator here. I'm going to increase the zoom. I'm just going to drag the cursor here to the right. So as you can see, there are some empty spaces here. You can either fix them with the node tool, select one of the layers and then fix them with the node tool or just I'm just going to select the group here, both layers. I'm going to select the contour here. I'm just going to change the contour here. So, so for example, to 0 0.3 press enter. So here it is. Now I'm going to select the move tool. 
I'm just going to bring back the navigator here to 64 percenter. Now make sure on the move tool I want to scale my layer here from one side so hold shift key down and then move it to the left. So here it is and I'm just going to select it. Let's add for example slight outline double click I'm going to add the one point outline and then you can also rotate it 